Right, quick, give me the rundown, yo. The drawing on the wall looks interesting. That's the summary. Even though we had our first kiss seconds after meeting each other, it took a long time before I got to see him again. The first time we held hands was when we watched the horror movie together. The first time I took his arm was when we went to a haunted house in an amusement park. <laughs> but I wasn't the one who grabbed him. A zombie jumped out and scared us, and he clung onto my arm. He had that cute side to him. And I was falling in love. I've actually gone back uh, and watched some of the beginning bits. And the very first dream, that is our dream, Date's dream, has him in it. I've already looked at it. Our second kiss was in the car. It's cliche, I know. But we drove around at night, looking at all the lights. We parked our car near a warehouse and kissed. I don't think we ever said I love you. Oh shit, it was the Okira fishery, wasn't it? We were getting closer and closer. Everything is so I strange. I to Iris about a month after I first met him. Iris never had a father figure in her life before. She warmed up to him immediately and treated him like a real dad. From then on, it was always the three of us together. We would go to the beach, to the river, the zoo, the amusement park. Going to barbecues with another person was a new experience for me and Iris. Everything felt so fresh. Every day was so exciting. You got more? Oh, sorry. You asked about the picture. Yeah, you still got more. He wanted to make Okonomiyaki one day. He was working with the hot plate. It was ridiculous. He was trying to flip one, and it flew up in the air and landed right on my head. Iris saw the whole thing and laughed and laughed. I hadn't seen her laugh like that in a long time. I was having so much fun that I put an Okonomiyaki on their heads, too. Plop, plop. I added the bonito flakes and mayo and sauce. At this point, there was no going back. Eggs flew, flour going everywhere. The room was not a pretty sight. After our battle, we laughed like crazy. We were rolling around on the floor. So Iris decided to draw it. It's nostalgic. But those days didn't last. <laughs> oh, no, I gotta Six click on this ago, picture. In November, a man with a gun broke into our house. Fortunately, Iris wasn't home at the time. But my boyfriend was. And that's why the gunman came. He wanted to kill him. He wanted to kill him and he would never stop. He pulled the trigger. I tried to protect him. The bullet hit me, but the police arrived. They were both arrested and incarcerated. Why was he after your boyfriend? Before he met me, he committed some terrible crime. I don't know the details, but it was awful. So he became a target for underworld criminals. I don't know exactly why. But I know that he betrayed them in some way. But none of that still... N nothing about his story st makes makes it seem like he's this psychopathic... killer that doesn't feel... He clearly feels happiness and love. So his story was bullshit. May I ask you something? Of course. I had heard that that incident was a random break-in gone wrong. Oh. That's not true. I lied about it at the time, because of Mizuki. Mizuki is Iris's friend. If she found out, Iris would find out too. I didn't want Iris to know. Know what? That I was dating a criminal. It was her father figure. Iris looked up to him. If she found out about his past... Picture? Picture. Oh, there's a drawing on the wall. No, no more picture. We're done with the picture. <laughs> Date, we can't spend time reminiscing. We have to get moving. But you understand that this yeah, is somehow go. vital to the plot. This random woman uh, dating life is vital to the plot of this video game. You understand this, yeah? I need you to understand this. That's the... <laughs> That's the level of writing we're at. 
And I fucking love it. Where are we going? I don't know. Let's suck this a Chima again. So Sajima is a key person of interest in this case. Earlier, the boss cited three points of suspicion against him, and I agree with her assessment. Point one, he's a politician. Check the call logs of So's phones. Point two, Congressman Sajima has old. one phone under his name, and a burner phone rented under a fake name. I guess I guess Did you find anything point, interesting. Point three has a burner phone. Unfortunately, no. I feel like really? that's just point one. Yeah. But I do have something. I looked into So's secretary's phone. One call in particular stood out to me. Huh? It was one week ago. From Fuchu Prison. The caller identified themselves as inmate number 89. Number 89? Yes. This is most likely the same person who called HQ. I know who killed Shogun Adami. Uh, I wonder what Prisoner 69 has to say about that. Unknown. You would have to ask Mr. Sejima for that information. Number 89 said he knew who killed Shogo. He did. But that may be a lie. Does he have any connections to the Cyclops serial killings? Yes. Unknown. No, I know. In honesty, I have no idea. I, but I know more than you. I'm smarter than you. I'm a time traveler. I'm here to solve this case. I still have no idea about most of this case, but I'm here from the future past to solve it. Or for, from the past future. From what I can determine, he is an assassin. He accepts jobs from the criminal underworld for substantial rewards. His code name is Falco. Falco? Correct. What's in jail? What do you what Murphy. do you think? <laughs> he is serving a life sentence for multiple counts. He was imprisoned six years ago. Six years ago? Six years ago? <laughs> I think that short still has the most amount of views uh, from this this let's play. Unknown. You don't know? He is not registered in any databases. He could be a foreigner or recent immigrant, but it would be impossible to determine from where. However, I did not detect any accent in his speech. I believe we can conclude that he grew up in Japan. Summarize for me. <laughs> Number 89. Should we visit Fuchu Prison? No, we don't have time. Call up Boss. Tell her to request that Number 89 be brought to Abyss. Roger. I wonder why we didn't do that the first time. We completely forgot about 89 for about two timelines. I heard there was no body found at the cold storage warehouse. Isn't your investigation over? It's over when I say it's over. You're under arrest for the crime of not having committed a crime. Yeah! Puts on sunglasses while explosions go off and so dies. I told you, I will not answer that question. And why not? We didn't find anything there. There's nothing to hide. It appears that he will not respond. Wow, Aiba, you're so smart and cool. Can I have your babies? Wait, you're not- How many that doesn't times work. do I have to tell you? And actually, I don't- maybe I don't it know that girl. I've never seen her before. Date. I knew he was lying. This proves it. I am having difficulty determining his motive for lying. After all, Iris was not killed. 
Maybe he's got a secret with her he doesn't want us knowing. What are you hiding so? Oh, but this is just all the colors. <laughs> uh, can I can I pick? Can I can I color in the thermograph, please, mommy? I want to draw it blue. <laughs> you are beginning to irritate me. What did you want to talk to her about? What is the private matter you mentioned? What is your relationship with her? I'll answer your questions when you present a warrant. <sighs> Number 89. Who is that? An inmate at Fuchu Prison. He used to go by Falco. He was an assassin. Odd, finding such a person in Japan. What about him? About a week ago, he called your secretary. I don't know anything about that. He was probably calling for a pardon or some such nonsense. My secretary probably decided it wasn't worth my attention. Mm -hmm. Need information, you can ask her. I can't help you. Oh, a new character? I really want... Haven't you people got enough? I'm very busy, excuse me. I'd really like to oh, meet a new character. Actually, I do have one more thing to tell you. To uh -huh. be honest, Kaname Date, I don't like you. Oh, I thought you were about to confess to me. I don't to me, ever I want to see you. Again. I'm not into sleazy old So I suggest that you don't show your face here anymore. It's what's best for both of us, understand? Who does this guy think <laughs> he is? Away sternly. Date, your blood pressure is skyrocketing. Any higher could kill you. <laughs> Relax, Date. We still have much to do. I know, I know. If I just get this one out of the way, I don't particularly care about this one. You need more info on Ren? I'm sorry to waste your time, but I don't have anything for you. Good, let's leave. See. That fish, what? what? Wait, that is a fish! I, th <laughs> I never really even paid attention to that! I, I thought I was polishing a glass! What? What? What what are you doing? I find it calming. Why is that? Don't ask me. Well, I could use a little help down there, if you know what I mean. I do not know what she means. Perhaps you should take her up on her offer. Absolutely not. Oh, Falco? You know him? I know him as a famous assassin in the underworld. Just rumors, though. Nothing specific. What kind of rumors? Mm, he's good. 100% success rate. No evidence. He was a world-class killer. Did you ever meet him? He was so no. good, he got life I don't even know what he looks prison. Like. Wow. Any other info? Wow, applause. I know he's connected to the Kumakuras somehow. Them again. Well, that's about it. You know about Renju and the Kumakura gang, right? Yeah, I know. I heard it from his own mouth right here. Do they have anything to do with the talent scandal at Lemniscate? Maybe now they do, since Renju is the president of Lemniscate. But even before that, Renju and the Kumakuras go way back. All the way back to high school. Hey, Date. Have you ever seen a dead body? I remember him saying that to me after he and I went through a portal. That's how I, that's how I flirt. A policeman. Hey, you want to see that body? I don't know what department. But Yours? I assume you aren't handing out traffic tickets. <laughs> so how about it? Didn't answer, turned the question around on him. 
What about you? Me? Well, yeah. Not just one. Countless bodies. When I was in high school, I had a pretty crazy job. You know the Kumakura gang? I was hooked up to one of their phone fraud scams. I just had to go collect the money from drop points and give it to the Kumakuras. It was an easy job. Eventually, I became friends with the higher-ups. They started taking me with them on jobs. What jobs? The target was always an elderly person from the country with no family. Elderly folk who owned a lot of land, you know? They live every day in loneliness and desperation. You just have to be nice to them. That's all it takes. Guys would get to know the old people and they would set up an adoption process. After that, you just have to get them really drunk. Throw them in the tub full of hot water. And they pass. Just like that. Heart attack, brain hemorrhage, or they simply go to sleep and drown. The police almost never investigated. It always looked natural, like they died of old age. So the adopted gang members would inherit the land. Then we sell it and make massive profits. I watched a lot of people get killed like that. And I've seen journalists get killed for getting too close to the truth. Did bring your so son I, to work day was like different back in the day. Why am I telling you all this? Are you going to arrest me? No. You didn't do it yourself, right? No, I was always the lookout. But still... Date, I... Tears fell on the counter. Unending. They're, st they're still going to this day. It's insane our word into the eyes and glass that melted to nothing. Anyway, bye. I don't have anything else for you. Sorry, I'm not much help. No, don't worry about it. Can you come back again tonight? There's a regular here who was good friends with Ren. They should be here tonight. If you ask him, he might have some information for you. Don't tell tonight. me it's fucking so. Yes, I'll be waiting for you. Please. And let's ask a homegirl what the fuck is happening. How is she alive? I am so aggro right now. Who says that? Why are you angry? You backed out on your Shovel Forge promise. I didn't make any promises. You promised me a date, though. I did go to your house. Two minutes before midnight? And you didn't even take me anywhere. Yeah, because we only had two minutes. We could have gone somewhere. Iturup, Kuneshir, Shikotan, Habomai? Absolutely not. Then you should have come earlier. Well, uh... Are those real places? <laughs> Can I go to Habomai? <laughs> there are islands in Russia? What the fuck? They're, they're under Russian control. But Japan lays claim to them. I don't think I don't think Russia's giving them to you, Japan, I'm sorry. Off? Yeah, from school. Oh, yeah, it's a holiday. So I decided to come to Lemnisgate. 
We're going to do a recording for a show soon. 